Friends, capsular phimosis usually occurs if the capsulorexis is small. In such cases, we can always enlarge the rexis at any time, at the conclusion of surgery or at any stage of surgery. In this case, the rexis was on the smaller side. Let us see how I managed the case. This is a white non intumescent cataract. I have made only one side port. I am staining the anterior capsule at this time with tripan blue dye. Now the dye is washed out. The pupil has dilated quite well but it is not fully dilated. Viscoelastic substance is injected. Now I want to incise the anterior capsule with a 26 gauge bent needle. Now I use a uterita forceps hold this capsular tag go anticlockwise and do a C C C this rexis it has become about four millimeter or four point five millimeter. However, we can complete the case through this rexis because the cataract is not very hard. It's a medium density cataract. You can say capsular, uh, you can say nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3 plus. Scholastic substance has been injected and now the teeth of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. As usual, I do direct chop. I bury the teeth into the substance of the nucleus and chop it. This nucleus is very brittle and it is getting divided into fragments very easily. The machine being used in this case is Oatly Catrix Easy. FECO power being used is 60%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last nuclear fragment. The fragment is emulsified and nucleus is managed. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. Now cortical cleanup is to be done. I am using a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula to clean the cortical matter. The sub incisional cortex is being removed introducing the Simcoe cannula through the side port. This is a very slender 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. And now a foldable intraocular lens is being implanted. The antechamber is kept formed by irrigation and the irrigating proof 
places the lens in the capsular bag both the leading haptic and the trailing haptic since intraocular lens has been implanted keeping the AC formed by irrigating fluid there is no viscoelastic substance to be cleaned however I want to enlarge the rexis to prevent capsular phimosis again I keep the antechamber formed by irrigating probe use a vana scissor to cut the rexis margin at 2 o'clock then I use uh, the uterta forceps to enlarge the rexis here and I hope this is enough So, we can always enlarge the size of the rexis to prevent capsular phimosis. So, the message which I want to pass in this video is if you feel that the rexis is small you can enlarge it after implanting the intraocular lens. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.